was a full 24 hours in hospital. Four different doctors yanking on my sack, literally tugged it away. It's a standard hernia test, my sister's a nurse. Yeah, well that doesn't explain why my penis looked like it was wearing a hat. Then it's probably just an STI. No, 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 they thought it was chlamydia. Fucking doctors. I almost started making phone calls. No. What are you doing? Good God, what are you casting? Women of Middle Earth? No, it's the new Bachelorette knockoff. No, seriously, that one there make an excellent Belladonna Baggins. The Baker? The Baker, what are you talking about? No, Lord of the Rings. Nerd alert! <laughs> Austin Powers? Oh, fuck off. Seriously, can't you just, you know, filter for pretty or something? Wow. <sighs> Are you Becca? Um, you are so pretty. <laughs> um, hi. Yeah, that's, um, oh my god, you too. <laughs> like, seriously. That's natural hair, right? I can tell. Uh, yes, I mean, it's, it's all my hair. It's so cool. I only get my extension source from the Indian temples because the people actually sacrifice it in a religious ceremony, so it's legit. I mean, they have to like take out the lice and treat it and everything, but other than that, it's literally the best hair you can get. Wow, mm. that is so intense. My hair is like Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Eddie. Well guys, wish me luck. It was so nice talking to you. Yeah, you too, honey. <gasps> Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> the sweater is so fucking soft. <laughs> you guys, there's nothing worse than a scratchy sweater. I 100% agree. You are so right. You just get things like this, don't you? I just get what feels good, you know? Definitely. <laughs> really good sweater. Oh, hi, Becca. so good. How are you? Um, I'm really good, thank you. Um, so should we... Should we just go in oh, or? God, I, is it okay if I just go in first? I, I just have like three other callbacks across town. It's totally crazy. I'm like, mm, parked in like a yellow zone thing. I. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I just thought I was first for some reason. Oh, you are, you are. But if you don't mind, you know, unless there's, you know, something you have to get to. Totally, unless you have some place you need to be. Um. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I do, but, but I can push it back. Oh. Yeah. No, you go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. Totally. <laughs> Break a leg. Guys, this is just the business, you know? Um, us ladies, we have to have each other's backs. Um, and I am happy to help out a fellow actress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, anyways, I'm gonna go um, get in the zone now and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Relax and don't think about anything as you're in your 
wonderful forest with all the creatures around you and they love you. Birds and wonderful forest creatures who come and they're happy and you're happy and relax and breathe and be calm because you are safe here in your wonderful place. Hey. Hi. Where is this? Where's what? Where are we right now? Um, Collective Casting Studios? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about where I am. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Take a big deep breath in and let it out good. <clears throat> As you breathe, let go, stay calm. <clears throat> and breathe. <sighs> no worries. <clears throat> let it out. Alpha Delta. And breathe. Good job. Stay calm. Yes. Just breathe. Don't think about anything. This is a calm, quiet place. Watch my six. Ah, ah. Hand me my weapon. Cover me. Check if that's a dud. <clears throat> Mama called animal control. They came and got it with a pole. Lift, lift. Hand me my rifle. My mama saw a snake in the back. She almost had a heart attack. Lift. Left, left, right, left, my homie, left. Hey, 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 left. Jack Ryan, what are you doing? I was warming up, sir. It's okay, but you need to keep the vocalizations down a bit. Copy that, sir. Wait, are you here for the Blue Platoon audition? Affirmative. Are you Jeremy Reynolds? That's a big 10 4. Jesus Christ, your audition slot was 45 minutes ago. Oh, damn. Yeah. You guys still come in? I've been practicing all day. Well, we're basically done for the day, so... But... Uh, uh... I will not let you down, sir. This is Jeremy Reynolds. He's been practicing really hard all day, so I said we'd give him a shot, even though he is very late, and we were basically done. Well, you certainly did dress the part. Oh, thank you so much. I feel the part. So we just need your headshot and res resume, and then we can get started. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I text it to you? Oh, shit, I'm at 1%. Can I borrow that charger? My phone charger? <laughs> it's fine. Let's just jump in. Uh, can you stand on the mark? Where? Just stand back there on that mark. All right, so you're going to be reading with uh, Jamie. You'll slate your name, no profiles, and then go. I'm sorry? Slate your name and begin. Oh, state my name. I thought you were saying something weird. My name is Jeremy, and... We gotta turn I'll on the camera first. Oh yeah, cool, 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 cool. Hey, I'm Ray, and I'm reading for the role of Jer- Oh, sh I said the character's name. Can I start over? No. Can I, can I do it again? No. Just keep going. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Jeremy, and I'm reading for the role of- No, I'm getting the role of Ray because it would be badass. Woo-ha! 
I don't know if you noticed, Ray, but we're down to one shotgun and one bullet, and the army of rebels is hot in our trail. I'll be damned if I will let anyone keep me from one more night with my woman and a tall glass of scotch. Tank, I left my hometown and my dying mother behind, and I've made myself a promise that I will lay my life down for my brothers and their freedoms, and that my mother's impending death will not be in vain. This may be the blue platoon, but we bleed red. Cover me! Left side down! Uh, 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 no, no. Tank, no! Uh, we do bleed red! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you call him in? <sighs> oh, wow. Can I get a pic with you? Heck yeah. <laughs> Gotta support the troops. This is going to do so well. Hey, can you airdrop that to me? Mm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's Jeremy. Hey, Becky, you ready? Yeah. Hey, thanks for letting Ara go first on that one. We nearly didn't get her in for this. She's been so busy lately. Oh, yeah, that's great for her. Oh, I'm so glad they brought you back oh. for this. I'm pulling for you big time. You're the best. Seriously. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, that is a comfortable shoe. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, they're actually Crocs. Ooh. Yeah, they make them in sandals now. So with, they use all the same like kind of comfort technology as the, uh, the original Crocs. Well, I love this look. Thank you. Yeah, should we get on with it then? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yes, I'm totally ready. Great. Uh, Teddy, if you don't mind, pal. Thanks very much. Okay, whenever you're ready, got you covered. Thank you. We're here at Rick's Cafe in Casablanca. This is our second day in Morocco, and Rick's was the place our director insisted on for recreating some of that old Hollywood ambiance that he loves. If you notice the music, it's coming from that pianist right over there. He's been playing here every night for the past 35 years. The meals are decadent and delicious, delivered by a gracious staff that will endear this place in your memory for years to come. I personally recommend the lamb shank with the garden prunes that Ahmed here has just plated for us. Well, I'm gonna dive in for a bite, but I'll see you guys after the break with a surprising and spicy Andalusian delight. You nailed it. <laughs> Seriously, so in the bag, girl. Really? It felt really good. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Thanks. Well done. Well done. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. Bye, Becca. Have a great rest Bye. of your day. <laughs> I mean, in the back. That was verbatim. I'm not paraphrasing. I mean, why would she say that if she didn't mean it? She doesn't have to say that. She could just say, like, you know, great job, nice to see you, you know, whatever, whatever. But she said in the back. But she's so all-American and Midwestern, and you know we have to capture a large base with this new web host. She's got to appeal to the red and blue states. This is the food network. I don't think Ari even eats regularly. Clearly Becca's never missed a meal. You are such a bitch. Uh, Becca is healthy. Okay, Curvy is really, really in right now. Have you seen Rihanna lately? Yeah, but she was skinny when she got famous. But you've got to earn the right to let yourself go. Look, I know what these execs want, all right? They want a healthy dose of sex appeal. We can't just replace a guy who's getting Emmys when he's dead and buried, right? You gotta get people to completely forget about him. What better way to do that than with Ara, who quite literally has sex dripping out of her fingertips. 
You know what you should be more careful, Stuart? Because one day you're going to end up in a few dozen very brave open letters and in the saddest chapter of a young starlet's memoir. Look, she's got two million followers. It doesn't matter whether I fucked her or not. Ugh. It's irrelevant. Ugh. Look, the network wants an established brand. Ara's that. Becca's not. You forgot the camera. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, Ara has a lot of followers. Like, she has a lot more followers than me, but she does not have that wholesome Food Network image that I have, you know? Like, and that's what they need right now. You know, they need someone that's not gonna alienate their base, which is Housewives, which is 65% of their audience, with her, you know, Ara with her super flat abs and her, like, Dior-sponsored makeup tutorials. You know, they're not gonna go for that. That's not gonna pull them in. You know, they need middle America. And, you know, I think it's, I think it's gonna be good. I got a ticket. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have the keys.